People have been harnessing the power of the wind for thousands of years. The earliest recorded evidence of this can be seen over a thousand years ago in Persia. But these machines have evolved from simple devices used to crush grain and pump water, to towering monsters generating enough electricity to power entire towns. Traditional wind turbines come in many shapes and designs, but they have all given way to a fairly consistent three blade design. Today we're going to answer the question, why do wind turbines have three blades? We can imagine each blade as a wrench tightening a nut. If we increase the length of the wrench, we can generate more torque. That's the force that causes rotation. Likewise, if we add a second wrench, we can apply even more force. The same principle applies to wind turbines. So naturally, you may think, why not add as many blades and make them as long as possible? The biggest wind turbine has a diameter of 164 meters. Each blade weighs 33 tons and each costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to manufacture. So more blades equals more weight and more cost. So maybe less blades is better? Let's compare our standard three blade design to its immediate competitors, a two blade turbine and a four blade turbine. Let's assume they have the same blade design for now. We can easily eliminate the four blade design with a quick cost analysis. Each of these blades costs a lot of money. Adding a fourth blade provides such a marginal increase in performance that it does not justify the additional cost. So it's down to two and three blades. A two bladed design can match the performance of a three bladed design by increasing the cord of the blade by 50% which eliminates the cost advantage, so it's pointless. Or we can increase the rotational speed by 22.5%. Turbines with two blades will spin faster in the same wind, due to the reduced drag they experience, but spinning faster is a negative. Let's explore why. A faster spinning blade will generate more noise. This is what a wind turbine sounds like up close. Yeah, people don't like living next to these things. So we need to minimize the noise they make by minimizing their speed. Next, we need to worry about centrifugal force. As the blades spin faster, their apparent weight increases. Thus, the central hub and the blades need to be stronger to resist the additional stress. Again, this adds cost. This is what can happen when a wind turbine's brakes fail in strong winds. So a three blade design can generate more power at slower rotational speeds than a two blade design while being more cost efficient than a four bladed option. So the three bladed design is our Goldilocks choice, not too much and not too little. Thanks for watching and happy Earth Day. Don't forget to subscribe and see my next video, which will explain the history and physics behind winglets, which are those little curly bits at the end of wings.